with our series Dog MD. Let me introduce you to my new friend Lucas here, a collie mix, and I might steal him after the show. He's so cute. Not only is he cute, he could be a lifesaver because having a pet in your life can actually improve your heart health. And Dr. Ashton is here with her bestie Mason. You brought yeah, your own dog this with is you. Mason the Morky. So the American Heart Association uh, is encouraging people to bring their dogs to work every Friday in June. I'm doing it. You're, I know. When you see GMA and we all have puppies, from now on you'll know why. Exactly. What, what Pets at work, why is that a good it's idea? It's pretty interesting, Cecilia. This is the first time a major health organization and the American Heart Association taking the lead on this is working with a pet initiative because we know when we go home and we see our friends, and by the way, not just dogs, but any pet, that it just improves our mood. And when you talk about the workplace, social connection and mood are kind of important to being productive. So it's kind of a no-brainer, put a no the two brainer. together. And, and actually, look at, uh, we, I had Mason in the control room before. He was, you know, oh, there there's Michael, Michael Korn, Korn, our executive <laughs> producer. That was hair and makeup. Oh, Mason. You know, so it, it improved the mood of the studio already. And there's a specific link between pets and heart health. Yeah, so when you talk about a, a vast number of Americans have pets of all kinds, and then heart disease, obviously, the number one killer. Oh, dog's out. <laughs> He's got it. <laughs> the number one killer. <laughs> so you can bring your dog to work. You might not get and a that's lot right, done. Exactly. <laughs> like us here. Exactly. <laughs> But when you talk about the two, pets and then heart health, this is kind of low-hanging fruit to target things that we can do to reduce the risk of heart health. And obviously, not just activity, but social connection, super important. <laughs> and this little guy has Aww. a lot to say in there. Uh, but it, a lot of that has to do with the, the you exercising with your dog, Absolutely. walking your dog. So right? anyone who's a dog owner okay, knows because... that usually you have to walk that dog or go for a jog uh -huh. with the dog. Studies have shown that people who have dogs are actually at about a one third lower risk of developing type 2 diabetes. So again, you might not be able to take your iguana for a walk or take your hamster for a walk, but in general, people who have pets are a little bit more physically active. Lucas, you want to come with me to the White House? Oh, All yes. right, you'll see me there. That's perfect. And you can ask Dr. Jen your questions on Facebook Live. And also guys, all of these dogs, even Lucas, except for, for the adoption, one. not Mason. You can't have Mason. But everybody else you can have at the North Shore Animal League. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.